Crossbar preparation for vertical jumps. Preparing pole vault and high jump crossbars ahead of time helps ensure a fair competition. What we'll do here is inspect and mark the bars so they're ready for use when needed. And you'll probably want at least three or four bars ready for a competition. All crossbars have a built-in bias or sag. You might think that you'd want the bars placed on the pegs so that there's a minimum of sag, but in order to make them the most stable, you want the bar positioned so the greatest sag occurs when the end pieces are flat on the pegs. First, make sure the end pieces are positioned at the end of the crossbars. Remove any tape or other material on the bar. Place the bars on two chairs or two hurdles just inside the end pieces. This allows the bar to reach a position with the maximum sag. Turn the end pieces so that the flat edge is horizontal with the ground. Then, to fine tune them, place the end pieces on the hurdle or chair. Now try to wiggle or rotate the crossbar from both ends and from the center. Make minor adjustments to align the crossbar until it does not wiggle. If chairs or hurdles are not readily available, place the bar on the ground and have someone stand on one end piece. Make sure the other end piece is level with the ground so that the flat surfaces are parallel to each other. If an end piece is too loose, slide the end piece off the crossbar a few inches. Place a small piece of tape on the bar and replace the end piece to cover the tape. Because the end pieces can twist during the competition, we'll mark the bars to show where the end pieces should be at all times. First, we make a circular mark around the bar next to the inside edge of the end pieces. This lets us know if the end piece has moved in or out from its original position. Then we place a mark on the end piece itself as shown and continue it onto the bar so we can keep the end pieces properly aligned. Do this for both end pieces. We also mark the left and right end pieces as shown to ensure the bar is replaced with the same side facing the runway every time. We can also mark the outside end of the end piece and the bar. This allows us to see if the end piece has twisted away from where we set it. Make sure to number the bars and for the pole vault, mark the underside of the end pieces. These markings will give the bar lifters a visual reference point as to where they should rest on the pegs. This helps to quickly get the bar centered. The maximum allowable sag is 3 cm for the pole vault and 2 cm for the high jump. Bars with more than the maximum allowable sag should be used only if legal crossbars are not available. Finally, measure and mark a point on the bottom center of the crossbar. This is used as an aim point for height measurements. Be aware that on hot days, crossbars and end pieces may have to be realigned later. The original marks may not be accurate as the bar's shape is affected by the heat. 
Store backup bars in the shade if possible. 